In the darkest part of the prison where they put people all alone, there was a strange guy. Every day, he would climb up the walls, not to run away, but to get strong. While everyone else rested, he lifted heavy things and practiced fighting. He did pull-ups and push-ups, and even when it rained, he ran a lot. He wanted to get strong because he hated someone a lot. Before he got locked up, he was just a regular guy with a pretty wife. One night, a bad guy broke into their house. Paolo Blanc heard his wife screaming on the phone and hurried back home. When he got there, he found his wife dead, covered in blood. Later, he caught the bad guy and took him to court. But the rich bad guy paid off the judge and got away. Seeing the man who killed his wife walk free made Kyle very, very angry. After the trial, he grabbed a gun from a police officer and shot the bad guy dead. But then he got arrested and sent to a really tough prison where lots of bad things happened. The guards at the prison didn't care if the prisoners hurt each other. When Kyle arrived, they took away all his stuff. One guard even stole his wedding ring and beat him up when he tried to keep it. In the prison, there was a mean guy named Andre who liked picking on weaker people. Kyle's cellmate, Billy, often got hurt by Andre, but the guards didn't stop it because Andre paid them off. One night, Billy screamed all night from getting hurt, and Kyle couldn't sleep. The next day, Kyle saw how hurt Billy was and how pleased Andre looked, and it made him think of the guy who killed his wife. He got really mad and punched Andre. They started fighting, but the guards only stopped Kyle, and they looked like they were friends with Andre. After that, Kyle got thrown into a really scary dark cell. He looked down and saw dirty water flowing under his feet, stinking terribly. The walls were marked with the blood of someone who had killed themselves, which was really scary. Every day, they gave him terrible food that looked like slop, like what you feed pigs. When it was time to sleep, he had to lie on a hard stone bed near the smelly pipes. Kyle LeBlanc couldn't take it anymore. One night, he decided he couldn't live like this anymore. He tried to hang himself with his torn up clothes, but they were so bad they fell apart. He got really mad and banged his head on the wall until he passed out. Then he saw a moat flying around, and it landed near his food bowl. Kyle picked up the bowl, and the moat landed on his spoon, like it was telling him to eat and stay alive. He remembered his wife who had died, and decided he had to keep going. It was hard, but he forced himself to eat the awful food. When he got out of the dark cell, they moved him to a different one. There were four beds, but only one person. The guard told him the guy in there had already killed three other people. The guard said if Kyle didn't want to die, he should pay him to move to a safer cell. Inside the new cell, Kyle realized the guy in there was dangerous. He got really scared. The next day, he gave the guard all the money he had to move to a different cell. But it wasn't enough. He was tricked, but he had no choice. He learned the prison was split into three groups who fought each other. Andre, the guy Kyle had upset, was a big deal in one of the groups. He was also the best fighter in the prison. There was a brutal fighting competition where if you won, you got more respect. But if you lost, you got hurt really bad, maybe even killed. The guards in the boss of the prison knew about it and even helped it happen because they made money from it. And Ray's gang wouldn't leave Kyle alone. One day while they were working, they attacked him. The guards watched and did nothing, then put him back in his cell. One day when it rained, the water came into the building, making things even worse. Kyle felt really hopeless. He realized the only way to stay safe in this terrible place was to be tough. So, he started training really hard, doing exercises and lifting weights. After lots of hard training, Kyle LeBlanc had his first fight. And guess who he had to fight? His enemy, Andre. The fight started, and Kyle got hit really hard in the stomach right away. Andre was much stronger, and he was hitting Kyle a lot. But Kyle didn't give up. He found a chance to hit back, and he threw lots of pinches at Andre. But Andre didn't stay down for long. He kept hitting Kyle, throwing him to the ground and hitting him in the head. Kyle was all beaten up and bloody, trying hard to get up, but Andre just kept kicking him down. Then Kyle did something surprising. He kicked Andre in a very sensitive spot and then bit him on the neck. Andre couldn't handle it and died right there. Everyone was shocked. They saw Kyle bite in Ray's throat and heard him roar like an animal. From then on, Kyle became the top fighter in the prison. He fought without holding back, hitting harder and harder until his opponents couldn't stand up anymore. Since the loser of these fights would die, Kyle kept winning and climbing up the ranks. He changed his look, cutting his hair, and looking tough. But his cellmate, Billy, was different. He just wanted to get out of the violence and kept trying to escape. One day, Billy got caught trying to escape again. This time, the guard gave him to a really mean guy who tortured him until he was almost dead. Before he died, Billy told Kyle not to become like the violent guys in the prison. Kyle finally understood and decided to stop fighting. 
But then he had to fight again, this time against the guy who killed Billy. Instead of fighting back, Kyle gave up and refused to hit back, no matter how much he was hurt. The boss of the prison didn't like that. He wanted Kyle to fight or die. So he ordered the guards to hang Kyle until he agreed to fight again. Day after day, Kyle hung there, getting weaker and weaker under the hot sun and the rain. But he never gave in. His determination inspired other prisoners to resist too. They realized that the boss of the prison was the only one benefiting from all the violence while they were just suffering. As a result, the fights between groups stopped and there were no more battles in the arena. The warden's plans to make money from violence fell apart completely. Because Kyle LeBlanc kept pushing for peace, violence was finally defeated. But the guards didn't dare to kill him. If they did, wouldn't he become a hero? One day, they let Kyle LeBlanc go, but the warden had a plan. Instead of attacking Kyle himself, he let loose another prisoner, a huge guy who looked like a monster and wanted to hurt Kyle badly. The giant started attacking Kyle, trying to choke him. Kyle desperately pounded on the door, and the giant stopped. It turned out, every time Kyle was in the solitary cell, he heard someone else bounding on the wall. Over time, they became friends, and that person was the giant. The warden was shocked, and he ordered the guards to shoot. But the giant protected Kyle, fighting off the guards until he couldn't anymore. Then the other prisoners started fighting the guards, and chaos erupted. There were fires and people trying to escape everywhere. The guards and army came with guns to stop the riot. During the chaos, Kyle met his cellmate from room 451. It turned out he wasn't a killer but a judge who punished bad people. Room 451 gave Kyle a diary with proof of the warden's bad deeds and told him to expose it. He also had a plan for Kyle to escape. He wanted Kyle to fight one more time, and whether he won or lost, the warden would take him to be executed, the perfect chance to escape. Kyle faced his final fight against the man who killed Billy. This time, he beat him quickly, and the man paid for what he did to Billy. Then they took Kyle to the execution area. But room 451 helped him escape, and Kyle left with the evidence of the warden's crimes. Room 451 stayed behind to deal with the warden. When the guards came in, they found the warden without his tongue, punished for his crimes. The man who made money from violence was destroyed by violence in the end. And with that, the movie ends.